last thing to talk. Well, last thing before we get into Borderlands, Game Informer is done. That's right. This oh my saddens me. It I does. have so many covers still because I, I I would I would if I didn't want to keep the magazine, I'd just cut the cover off and keep it. So I have hundreds of these in my room. That's crazy. I never. Yeah, that. it's actually. Uh, I actually eventually when we upgrade the studio, I actually want to make the background all those covers. Oh, I have Bioshock, Gears of War, Last of Us. Uh, I'm pretty sure I still have the original Borderlands one before mm -hmm. it was comic-y, like where it looked all realistic and stuff. Oh, wow. So I am a huge advocate for Game Informer. This Dude. was my magazine. Like some people had Nintendo Power, all these things like that. So first off, I want to read what was on the put on their website because now you can't look at anything mm -hmm. and that disappoints me. So the final, I got hair in my fucking mouth, man. What the fuck? Should just get rid of the beard. Uh, no, no, my wife won't let me. <laughs> uh, final level. Farewell from Game Informer. After 33 thrilling years of bringing you to the latest news and reviews and insights from the ever-evolving world of gaming, it is with a heavy heart that we have announced the closure of Game Informer. Now, for everyone to know, none of the staff was let known until this got put up. From the early days of pixelated adventures to today's immersive virtual realms, we've been honored to share this with incredible journey with you, our loyal readers. While our pressing may stop, the passion for gaming we'll, we've cultivated together will continue to live on. Thank you for putting part of your epic quest, and may your own gaming adventures never end. Someone put chat GPT. This is basically that. I'm not joking. So this came from GameStop. Like they took all the access away from all the editors, the editor in chief, everything like that. So wow. there's a lot of controversy going on with that. I don't want to focus on the bad because there's bad in every industry, especially when yeah. you close down something. I want to focus on the good. What is your, like for you, like what was your thing for Game Informer? We'll kind of go back and forth on that. So just like Game Informer in self. Yeah. Was like, like the way it impacted me was when I was little, mm -hmm. my, um, when my dad used to take me to work and so mm -hmm. I would always stop at the magazine section and just literally I would sit in the middle of this store on the floor in this aisle grabbing a Game Informer magazine and I would just keep on reading it or read all the stuff. Everything. Yeah. And then if I would sit there and I would try to find the copy that would have a demo disc mm -hmm. and uh, I remember... It's still like my profile picture on the Xbox 360. Uh -huh. I got a demo disc and it was right around Dead Rising 2. Uh -huh. And I got like the pictures for, um, what is it, the boss, the the two girls in Dead oh, Rising yeah, 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot I their names. I, I know what you're talking about, though. Names. But I got that and that was like my profile picture. And now that's like a 180 JPEG on my little Xbox Game Pass thing now. <laughs> that's why it's that yeah yeah i mean for me i think everyone has like a if you were in gaming and stuff everyone has a fond memory of it i remember my dad subscribed to whatever GameStop's thing was and we would start getting these game informer magazines and he'd just give them to me and i'd look at them and that was my way of like being able to look at video games that i either could not afford or could not play mm. mostly for both reasons but yeah. It was so cool getting to live through those magazines. The artwork was always stunning on the covers, but also like it taught me so much about gaming, journalism. It was probably the first form of journalism I actually got into. And it, it really saddens me that they're gone. Yeah. And it sucks that GameStop's closing them. I know print magazine is not like a huge thing, but like I remember like a lot of my first like open eyes things to a game coming out was Game Informer whether it was their review section, whether it was their preview section, whether it was whatever was on the cover, that's how I found out about games. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a cell phone until I was like seventh, eighth grade. I didn't have access to the internet until seventh or eighth grade, really, you know? Um, so like kind of just kind of go through this. Like I remember like a uh, bullet storm that was announced on there and I was like, holy shit, what is this game? And it looked so fucking cool. Do you have like a a cover or like a game that you remember reading about in there and you're like, I have to play this? Uh, Halo 2 was on there. Oh, okay. Halo 2 was on there. Let me see if I pull up the cover. Um, oh, yeah. With, uh, I don't know if I can turn this all the way around, but this one? Yep. Yeah, that that is I that think they did a sick. Republic Commando one as well. I'll look it up. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, those and are... Dead Rising 2. Those are like the ones that I remember. Okay. You know what I also remember? I remember getting a demo disc and it had a, what is it that? Not Ratatouille. 
It was the other one. Flushed Away. Flushed Away. <laughs> nah, I remember the that. The demo for Flushed Away. I love that. Uh, yeah, no, man. This is my first, like, just kind of going through, like, some of the covers. It was my first introduction to Border or Bioshock Borderlands as well, which we'll talk mm-hmm. about the movie in a second. And when they first showed off Borderlands, guys, it was not the comic graphic style. It was d- proposed as Mad Max meets Diablo, which the second I read that on the cover, I'm like, oh, my fucking God. Like, that's the coolest thing ever because yeah. Diablo was, like, a huge piece of my childhood. And I see you get cars and combat like that. That's just fucking sick. Dead Space 2 is another one when it was first announced. Uh, Batman Arkham City. I don't know if you remember the cover. It was white, and he had, like, the little drips of blood on oh, his. Yeah. Like, that was, like, The Last of Us. Uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed. Like, Fallout 3, Halo Reach. Did they ever do, like, a digital format? They did have a digital format. They actually stopped printing for a while and would only do digital. And then recently, I think this year, they started going back to print, and then, boom, closed. Um Epic Mickey. Do you remember that game? That's where it opened up. I, hey, why are hey, you that's laughing? getting re- remastered, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I have it pre-ordered. Oh, my goodness. Why? Did you, did you ever play it? No, I did not. Dude, it's fucking great. It's a great game. The reason I love Epic Mickey, and I'll probably review it on here when the remaster comes out, is mostly for the fact that it is a... Um, it, it, it touches into Disney lore, like Oswald the Lucky Rabbit being the villain. Uh who like i don't know if you know like oswald the lucky rabbit was created before mickey mouse the only reason he wasn't the icon for disney is because he lost the rights to oswald the lucky rabbit so it's very meta that's why like epic mickey is a very smart platformer and specifically in how it touches into the disney history so i've i've always loved that but dude I am so depressed that Game Informer is like I know. over. It's kind of a bit of a piece of your childhood. I understand that like as time goes on, a lot of those printing formats, they die. Jittle, yeah, it's hard. Like, I just found an Oblivion cover. Dude, <laughs> Oblivion. I remember reading That's that crazy. one. Borderlands 2, I remember reading that one. Bioshock yeah. Infinite. Gears of War 3 is probably my favorite. It was them on top of a bunch of Lambents. Mm-hmm. And, and it's just, it's it, it makes me really sad. Um I, I seriously cannot believe it. A brutal legends, brutal Resistance legends. Three. If it, it uh, when I go home today, I might actually find them. I'll send you pictures. Yeah. But it makes me sad. I to ask, and this might be a personal question, so feel free to skip it. But was your dad into it as well? Did uh, he like reading them, or were you more of just when you'd go to work with him? I think it was just like my dad is like, all right, here's something for you to just yeah. watch and or, or like read while I'm doing work. Yeah. That's pretty much all it was okay but you would enjoy going through them and and not Mm -hmm. even just for the demo disc but like did it introduce you to certain games that like you didn't think you would ever be introduced to oh yeah for sure maple story was one i remember the ads through there do you remember the maple story ads like how they would have like the little characters oh yeah that's how i got into that game i remember i was like what is this like a side scroller but it's like online and open world that that's fucking cool that's still like going crazy nowadays that's still popular although it's facing a lot of controversy yeah i was about to say i i heard there's a lot of stuff going on with that there's a lot of stuff that i'm not fully familiar with uh maple stories just kind of disappointed me if i'm being honest with you i just yeah so with that said man (sighs) borderlands the movie um oh yeah goodbye game informer by the way goodbye we We will miss you thank you for all the memories yes thank you i'm trying not to get emotional over here